If you're one of those that still reads an actual paper copy of the paper, you likely saw this today, a full page advertisement from Jewel. What was your first reaction? <laughs> I thought, how odd. <laughs> that was honestly my first reaction. What appears to be perfectly black and white turns out to be anything but, so says Carlson School of Management professor George John. It's so unusual to see a market leading company, a successful company, take out a full page black and white ad. It looks like one of the tombstone ads about bankruptcy, <laughs> which it isn't. Nope, it sure isn't. The ad suggests that Minnesota lawmakers bump up the age to buy tobacco from 18 to 21 including e-cigarettes. Several individual communities have done so, but not statewide. While it might seem strange for a company that sells e-cigarettes to take such a stance, there's something deeper at play. Consumption of tobacco and e-cigarettes has stopped going down among high school kids and has actually started to inch up. The FDA is concerned, lots of other social activists are concerned. So my suspicion is that they don't want to be caught in a box like Big Tobacco was and, you know, the alcohol companies and stuff like that. This is less about then taking the moral high ground and more about protecting themselves in the future. It's absolutely all the latter. Let's be serious. They're doing this for a business purpose, and the business purpose is to be proactive in not getting into trouble being accused of targeting kids. Big Tobacco, as we know, has spent billions of dollars in settlements and changed its marketing practices after being found culpable in people's health and addiction to their products. Juul is trying not to have history repeat itself. And just like the tobacco and alcohol industries before them, they don't stand to lose business just because the age to buy goes up. The reality is probably not. Kids are going to get the stuff, they're going to get their friends to buy it, they're going to get their older brothers and sisters to buy it, but it gives them a safety margin. They're not going to be as readily accused of targeting kids. Now don't get the wrong impression, this isn't a bad thing, even if they're not doing it for the most righteous of reasons. I've got to take my hats off to them, they're pretty clever about it, but whether Two Stanford grads are putting their energies to the best use that the world could see. That's somebody else's judgment.